loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new hi I hope you stick around today I'm gonna be doing a really really fun kind of all-encompassing beauty style hair everything video because I want to help you guys get ready for spring but I also don't want you to break the budget I've wanted to do an all drugstore and makeup tutorial like a really affordable inexpensive makeup look for a while and originally I was gonna do it very natural kind of every day and then I realized like what's the fun in that I wanted to show you guys that you really can get a full glam full beat on a budget and that's what I achieved today in this makeup I'm gonna show you my go-to messy bun that takes a grand total of 10 seconds and then in terms of the outfit I'm excited to say that today's video is sponsored by thread up and if you guys do not know what thread up is it's the coolest thing and your mind is about to be blown the dress I'm gonna be showing in today's video I kept the tag as proof it came with the tags on I did not know this um, but it's a Ralph Lauren dress and it was originally $149 and it was only $40 on the thread up website ThreadUp is an amazing resource for women's and kids high-end fashion and they often will have things for up to 90% off. They have a huge, huge, huge selection of brands as well, from Madewell to Zara to Nike to Ralph Lauren. They have an amazing selection for you to choose from, and again, the prices are just insane. The site is also super easy to use. I usually just shop by size, but you can shop by your size, a brand, anything that you want to, a category of clothing, women's, kids, whatever. The reason I thought it would be so cool for this video is you can get really high-end and amazing designer pieces on there that you might not normally even look to you know for me like I probably never would have even shopped this line $150 for a dress is ridiculous right like I don't want to spend that on something I may not wear for more than a season but it's really great because you can get things on here for such an inexpensive price thread up is also offering you guys a 40% off discount using this code and you can shop it using the link down below and I highly recommend it it's been amazing so far I thought I would do like a mini haul in here and just show you guys some of the other things that I grabbed I got in total five different Different items and it was less than $150 and they're really 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 nice pieces of clothing so the first thing is this really cute kind of like sweater blazer I just thought this was really fun and especially for like these last days of winter it has like cable knit and sort of like houndstooth design the brand is Anne Klein and it's really really nice and thickly knit I love it and then for warmer days I got this dress and this brand is M-A-E-V-E -E is the brand I'm not sure how to say that and I've never actually heard of it but see that's the thing like I never would have known about this brand um, and now I have this really freaking cute dress from them and it's kind of like a combo it's white on top and then a navy blue on bottom then I got this blouse I almost wore this today I was having a hard time deciding what to wear because this is so freaking cute. This brand is Heart Soul. It still comes with the tags on it. And I just thought it was freaking adorable. Super duper soft and cozy and comfy. And then last but certainly not least, I got another Ralph Lauren piece. And it has buttons on the side here. It's just this really cute striped sweater. And honestly, that I think was a pretty good haul. All of the clothing came in really nice condition. It's really, really cute. And then of course I have my dress. I thought I would do the outfit first. The way that I decided to style this dress was just using pieces I already had in my closet. The dress is the only new thing for me. It came with a belt, which is really easy because then I can just cinch it in at the waist. And then over top, I would suggest throwing either a blazer like I did today. I just had this like pastel pink blazer in my closet already. Or you could even do a cardigan for kind of like a more dressed down, easy breezy look. And then I paired it with rose gold jewelry. Again, just stuff I already had on hand. And that's really it. It's such a cute outfit. It looks so classy and put together. And my first thought looking at it would not be, wow, that's like a bargain outfit. I got that on a budget. You know what I mean? Like it just looks really cute. As much as I love fashion, I'm really excited for you guys to see this particular makeup look. So if you want to know how I went from bare faced to full beats using all drugstore products, then just stay tuned. Well, hello everyone. Good morning, Starshine. I am starting out with a prepped and moisturized face, but as always, I'm going to use a primer. Today I'm using the NYX Hydra Touch, and I actually really liked this. Um, it kept on my makeup pretty well and kept me really nice and moisturized, very comparable to some high-end ones. And today for my foundation, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I have two different colors here because I'm kind of in the middle. Of both of the lightest shades. Of course, I can't be one or the other. I have to be in the middle of the two lightest ones. So I'm spreading them both over my face, dampening my buffing brush with a bit of dewy setting spray, and then I'm blending that in just using a Real Techniques buffing brush. Mm -hmm. 
I love how this foundation looks with just one layer, very skin-like and sort of natural to me. However, I am going full beat, so I'm going in with a second layer just to make it nice and full coverage. Then I'm gonna go in with concealer. Today I'm just using a brightening concealer first with a pinky undertone to cancel out dark circles. Then I'm going in with the Maybelline Superstay Concealer. I feel like this is a video full of first impressions. This is my first time using it and I really liked it. So I'm using it kind of to highlight all of the areas of my face I want to draw more light to. Then I'm going to use a new L'Oreal foundation sponge. They have three of these and then this one is just the massive purple one. Um, it's really cool because it's just a little bit like plumper than a beauty blend or a Real Technique sponge and I felt like it blended things in really quickly and easily. I'm gonna prime off my eyes using a Milani eyeshadow primer and then it's time to set the under eye area so that it does not crease. To do that, I'm going to use some translucent powder on my sponge and it is still damp. I really like the way that this sets off my under eyes because I feel like the sponge keeps it from creasing while I actually pack on the powder. And then I will leave this to sit under the eye so that my fallout can be really easily brushed away when I do my eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder. This is from the same line as the foundation that I'm using and I love how this looks on the skin. Very, very velvety and smooth and it sets off my foundation beautifully. It keeps me nice and matte and I'm just obsessed with it. Then I'm going to go in with my bronzer. This bronzer is not a like drugstore affordable makeup exclusive. This is a go-to for me every single day. The butter bronzer from Physicians Formula is amazing. So I like to take it under the cheekbones. I'll also brush it up and on the sides of my forehead and then I will take it under the chin. This kind of like sharpens up your jawline and hides any signs of a double chin. When I wear my hair up like I'm going to today, I'll also take it just right along my forehead line and on the sides of my nose for a bit of a contour. This NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette leaves me with so many blush options I didn't even know where to start, but I decided to mix these two kind of peachier shades together in the palette and pack that onto my cheeks for a really pretty subtle flush. I like to wait to do highlight until after I've blended out that translucent powder under the eyes. So we're gonna jump into my eyebrows. Today I'm just going to really quickly groom them and brush them up using a spoolie. And I am using one of my favorite drugstore brow products. This is the e.l.f. Brow Pencil. I don't know the proper name of it. I will have it down below. And I'm just gonna outline under and over the top of my brows and blend that in with a spoolie. They did turn out a little bit darker. I'm sort of into more dramatic brows right now, so I did go in with a Maybelline brow mascara that has like little fibers in them, or in the product, to make them look a little bit thicker and even darker, and you can see I just look crazy town with only brows done. So we're gonna jump into the NYX Perfect Filter Eyeshadow Palette. This is a really, really nice warm selection of neutral colors, and I'm gonna take that mid-tone warm brown first, we're gonna blend that into the crease and create a very, very soft outer corner with that color. Using that same brush, I'm gonna go into that darker, more like espresso chocolatey brown. And this is gonna really be focused in the outer corner exclusively. I love the mix of these two colors and honestly, you could get such a pretty smoky eye like this. Then I'm gonna blend them just using a fluffy brush and there's a lot of blending involved in this look. I may not show it every single step, but always, always blend your shadow. Then I'm gonna take this darker, more copper color. This has a lot of shimmer, it's really pretty and metallic. And this is going to be packed on the very outer corner. I'm gonna take my crease brush and just really lightly redefine my crease so that that shimmer doesn't go too high up on my eye and stays nice and tight on the lid where I want it. I'm gonna take this really pretty, kind of like autumn goldy color. This would actually be a really pretty look for autumn too. I feel like this would just be a pretty look year round. I'm gonna pop that onto the rest of my eyelid, leaving the inner corner blank. And first off, you'll see my inner corner goes through some transformation scroll. I am taking a matte white shade from the palette and I'm popping that on the inner corners and under the brows. And later I will add some more shimmer, but for now I'm going to work on the lower lash line. Taking that mid-tone brown first and just really lightly buffing that all on my lower lash line so that there's some definition. I'm then going to take the deeper brown and really focus that on the outer corner exclusively. Now that my shadow is mostly down, I can just wipe away that fallout using a fluffy brush and you can see it is amazing how quickly you can clean up with that. 
I'm going to sharpen up my contour just using my kabuki brush. No extra powder or anything on here. Just makes it a little bit sharper and more dramatic. Then it's time to highlight. I'm going to start off with this Wet n Wild bronzer. It's really a highlighter, but it's called Reserve Your Cabana. And you can see it's a beautiful, very natural, gorgeous sheen. I'm also going to take it on the inner corners of my eyes to complete my look but I just wasn't satisfied. This look called for something more dramatic, so I'm gonna jump into the NYX Strobe Genius Palette and taking this white gold color, I'm gonna put that on the high points of my face. So again, the cheekbones down the center of my face. I'll also take a bit more just on that inner corner using a small little detail brush. I just really felt like this glow was super appropriate for this look. You guys know I love my highlights, so I had to go with the drama. I'm gonna form a line on my upper lash line just using a matte black liquid liner, and I love this one, it's really nice and dark, and will help to hide my lash band later. I then went in with a dark brown pencil liner from Rimmel, but I just wasn't impressed with the pigmentation, and I had to really rub it, so I didn't want you guys to have to sit through that. Then I'm going to take my dewy setting spray first and just put it all over the face, then follow up with Maybelline's setting spray to make the makeup last longer. Then on curled lashes, I'm just taking a dark black mascara so that I can hide my lashes into my lash band later on. And the lashes I'm going to be using today are of course from the drugstore. They are from Ardell and they are this faux mink line that I'm just obsessed with. They look so fluttery and amazing. Something I learned from Gina Shakita here on YouTube is to wrap it around like a new lash band, to wrap it around your finger and just let it sit there and it gets more curved so it's easier to put onto your eye. And I love that, it makes this first time wearing lashes so much more bearable. So I'm just gonna pop those on the eye and you can see the real before and after difference. These just look so fluttery and the look just looks so much more complete. Before I do my lips, I went ahead and I changed my outfit and then I'm going to jump into my lips obviously. Today I'm using this Makeup Revolution lip kit. First, of course, lining the lips with the lip liner that is provided in this lip kit. Then I'm going to follow up using the liquid lipstick and you can get a really, really cool matte lip out of this. It wore forever and it looked so pretty. Okay, so on to the hair. No matter if my hair is clean, like freshly shampooed, which it is right now, or it's like six day old dirty. I always put dry shampoo in at the roots just to give it a little bit of volume and lift. When I do this, I usually will just do the top of my head with my fingers and brush up the bottom. Because I want that part to be smooth, but I want the top part to look kind of like messy. I'm sort of undone. Then I'm going to take my hair and I'll gather it from the bottom up. And I think that that's important not to flatten the volume at the top of the head. And I usually don't really smooth down any um, bumps. There's some dry shampoo I didn't blend in. I don't know, I sort of just like the texture when it's a little bit messy. So then gathering it from the bottom, I'm gonna take it and tie it into a ponytail. And then this is where I'll sort of like tug at it because after the bun's actually in, I usually don't like to. So I like to do a ponytail first just because I have a lot of hair and it really needs help being held up. So once I have my ponytail down, I'm going to kind of move so you guys can see this, I will take the tail and twist it around itself into a bun. Super straightforward and easy. You guys have probably seen people do this before. But my whole trick here is kind of keeping it smooth towards the tail. And you can see how the hair is just twisted around itself all through here. Then I just wrap, kind of tighten it up to the point that I want it, and I will secure with an elastic. You could do one that matches your hair color to be classy, but I don't have any blonde ones at the moment. They're always out of blonde ones every time that I go to the drugstore. Then you can sort of just tug at it and pull it apart. I find it already has so much volume because my hair is so thick, but I will just kind of like pull it apart, get it really, really nice and messy. And the more you pull it apart, the bigger and the more volumized and the messier it's really going to get. And then once you kind of have your general shape down and you're happy with it, you could always pin things into place. I have a lot of hair, so again, not a fan of bobby pins. Like I have a little piece sticking out right there, but all I'm going to do is add in some hairspray. 
um, just because I feel like my hair will hold it okay on its own. And I sort of like the way that it looks when it's a little bit messy, so I'm just going to take a bit of hairspray. You could use whatever you want. You can also like do up the little bits in back. I kind of like them to be down. I just think it looks like a little bit messier and cute and my hair is so curly that it just does whatever it wants. Okay, so then I like to pull down some baby pieces. I have a lot of baby hairs. I'm obviously not a natural blonde, so lots of breakage equals lots of baby hairs in the very front here, which is fine because I think that they're kind of cute. I always part my hair on the same side, so I have a bit of um, breakage in the very front here. So my hairline isn't perfectly seamless, and sometimes if I'm wearing my hair up or it's just sort of on my nerves, some days I don't do this, but some days I will, I'll just lightly take my brow pencil. Um, this doesn't work, my roots are super blonde, but I'll just sort of like blend it into the hairline and voila, you've got a super smooth, even hairline. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want more style, makeup, and hair videos all in one, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you really liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye!